Welcome back to Skill Guided, the series where our account progress is locked to the skill guide. We cannot train a skill until we complete the most recent skilling unlock. We cannot complete a quest if it would skip that unlock. And we are back and better than ever. Alright, we are back. It's 2024, baby. And we ended 2023 with a bang. Lots of mining and smithing and uploaded episode 10 of Skill Guided. We're here for episode 11 now with our freshly made mithril knives to train our range past 20. Our goal, because I didn't talk about it too much in the last episode. We are catching up on the unlocks that we missed on the way to getting our Ardoin Cloak 1 and finishing the Ardoin Easy Diary. One of the biggest pieces of content that we had to skip in order to reach this goal was getting to Fossil Island. Fossil Island is locked behind the Bone Voyage quest, which we need two things to start the Bone Voyage quest. Completion of the dig site and 100 museum kudos. The kudos I'm going to come back to at a later date and explain those in a future episode. The dig site quest has been locked away from us for a very long time because level 25 thieving is required for it so which isn't really locked away from us anymore we can do our thieving right we basically have a free run to 25 thieving so that's good the astute viewers among you will realize that at 21 you unlock room one of pyramid plunder the ichthlorin's little helper quest however is required for pyramid plunder and the quest itself which is actually very difficult for us at our current stats. Does require Gertrude's cap, but we can do that as well. The main issue with this is, is that the quest itself gives 4,500 thieving experience as a reward, meaning we would skip multiple unlocks with that XP. Therefore, we are unable to complete that quest yet. So therefore, the level 25 thieving requirement to do the dig site quest is actually pretty readily available to us. The issue has been the rewards from the dig site quest. A whopping 15.3k mining XP, which we now have no problems with because we are 65 mining. We've got plenty of wiggle room there, so that's all good now after our big mining grind. But the other thing is 2,000 herb lore XP. That is definitely going to cause us to skip unlocks considering we're right on the border of our next unlock at 11, Taramin, when our current unlock, Relisum's Balm, we currently haven't completed. So we're unable to do the dig site quest just yet. What we need to do is get Herb Lore to a point where that dig site reward XP won't bother us too much. Relisum's Balm requires partial completion of the Zoga Flesh Eaters quest, which before we can even start that requires big chompy bird hunting and 30 range, but 30 ranged is also a requirement for the big chompy bird hunting quest. Hence, we are doing our range training. Hence why we did our big smithing grind for our mithril knives so we could train our range level up so here we are this is all to eventually get to fossil island let's throw our mithril knife at this crawling hand it won't know what hit it oh look at the damage output from those mithril knives this is so good made by our own two hands entirely from scratch all right and this will be our last crawling hand and we'll finish our first ever slayer task pretty cool we got some nice red gloves to add to our collection. 32 crawling hands completed 563 XP. Oh my god, so bad. Uh, we did hit 22 ranged and we've hit 13 slayer. No unlocks yet, so we're good to continue. Um, I guess let's go. We, I mean, masters. I guess we could use the Canifus master, right? We've got 20 combat. Do we need to progress through the... Slayer Masters as well. They're all at level 1. So I guess we've done... That was a Turial task. We haven't done Poor Sign of Interest yet. Maybe? Yes, yeah, Spreer. Okay, we can't do that yet because it gives a little bit of Slayer XP. So we just need to level up a tiny bit more. And we should be fine with that. Wilderness Master. I guess we could do a Wilderness task. Uh, a bit scary, but why not? I mean, that's also a level 1. No requirements to a Wilderness Slayer task. Ah, oh, man. So I guess we're off to do that. But before we do that, we do have to go kill a cave bug and a cave crawler. Because they are our other two slayer creatures that we haven't killed yet at our level. And we have unlocked them. So we know to go kill a cave bug and cave crawler. They're both in the Lumbridge Swamp Cave. Down the dark hole we go. Did I even need to bring a rope? And now we can just walk straight through. Yeah, oh, he didn't even try and grab us anyway. Well, suck it. Alright, it's very dark down here. 
But here's a cave bug that we're going to murder, because this is something we unlocked with our Slayer skill. Beautiful. That's that's it done. Hey, that was an easy task in the Lumbridge area. Well, that proves... Yep, I definitely haven't killed one yet. And these cave crawlers. It's so fucking dark in here. That's a cave slime. I don't think I can even kill them yet. No, that's 17 Slayer. We're literally not experienced enough to kill a ball of goo. So what we're doing... Here we go, cave crawler. Level 23. These things aren't fucking around. I'm going to kill one of these. Haha, -ha, poison. I've got my super anti-poison buddy. All right, bit of a tougher challenge there from our other one. Oh, nature runes. That's so good. Lovely. What are we going to get from this one? Literally nothing. Literally nothing. What the... Okay, well, that's crap. Oh, she's got a Santa hat on. Santa S cat. Love that. All right, so... Bit rude. Yeah, what do you want? All right, we need an assignment. We need another assignment. Well, we haven't even got one to start with. But this has zero requirements, so we should be able to get a Slayer task from Crystillia. Please be like skeletons, because they're literally like right there. So that would be great. Give me give me skeletons. Before I sign you anything, I want to make something clear. My tasks have done in the wilderness. Yes. Mate, we've, we've been in the wilderness a fair few times here. Yep, we understand we must kill it in the wilderness. I don't care about the hardcore status. We're not going to lose it anyway. Chaos Druids... Wow. Hey, Edgeville Dungeon. That's the wilderness. That's actually going to be so sick. Oh, an uncut emerald. Oh, these things are going to be the best. These things are going to be so good. Oh, this is the best Slayer task we could have been given. This is actually so good. If anyone's probably going to come in and attack us, it's probably going to be Melee. So we've got Pray from Melee as our quick prayer. Grimy Harrowlander. So good. Oh, Laren's Key. Holy shit. That's massive. A Laren's Key drop. Oh my god. Oh, imagine what we can get from that. That is so cool. Okay, now we're actually about to level up our ranged, and that's going to come along with an unlock, actually. So, let's... um. Okay, 25 ranged members can now wear frog leather armor. Alright, let's, um, let's finish off this druid and go and discuss that quickly. Oh, look at us. Look at what we're wearing here. Oh, can you guess what I was about to go do? I just went down a rabbit hole of planning, and I had written this down before. I literally just found my notes on it. In order to progress from 25 ranged, we needed frog leather armor. And in the level up message, it didn't say 25 defense. And so I didn't even check it. I'm an idiot. Because we cannot get 25 defense right now for frog leather. Because we can't progress past 10 defense. The Slayer Helm is obviously out of our reach. White armor is something we potentially could achieve. Uh, through the wanted quest and stuff like this. Once we get our combat up a little bit more, it should be achievable. But we also can't get an oak shield at 10 defense. Because an oak shield requires 27 fletching. And our fletching is currently locked behind needing to do bronze brutal arrows. And that comes with a partial completion of the Zoga Flesh Eaters quest, which comes from the big chompy bird hunting, which comes from the 30 range we're trying to get in the first place. So, <laughs> hopefully that all makes sense. <laughs> oh my god, so convoluted, I'm sorry. And we'll have to come back to all the fletching once we finish this part of it. This is just phase one. Fletching will come phase two. We'll add more skipped unlocks to the list and we'll come back and do them. Deary, deary me. <laughs> The important part is that you enjoy the journey. That's that's the thing you need to worry about. Don't worry about all my ranting and whatnot. Alrighty, we got 15 Slayer. We're here, we've got our earmuffs on. That's what we need to take on, the Banshees. We can't guarantee we're going to get them on task, so we may as well come and slay one now for our unlock. And then we'll head straight back to Edgeville Dungeon and kill some more Chaos Druids. There we go! And that's an easy task in the Mauritania Diary. Nice. 28 ranged. Just having a nice chat to I switched here about my uh, Red Topaz debacle because, well, now that we... Oh, we can finish our Slayer tasks, surely. We won't get too much ranged XP from this, from killing three more Chaos Druids. But we've got three left. We'll finish this. So anyway, uh, so it turns out Mod Ash actually was tweeted... At, thanks to my video about my wise old man tasks 
saying that I couldn't get a red topaz from it and I was just getting emeralds and sapphires and also kept getting the same tasks. I doubt Modash watched the whole video. He seems to think that based on the wise old man task giving me just Father Lawrence, it's a 1 in 12.5. And I did so many. And so only 1 in 12.5 seems pretty... I went super, super dry on that. I did so many wise old man tasks, so I'm not sure about that. But it's such an odd thing he would say 2 in 25 for that. So maybe I can go back and get a red topaz from that. Anyway, there's our Slayer task completed. Um, how good is that? Let's get out of the wilderness and I'll finish saying what I'm talking about. Because we also just hit 28 ranged. Meaning that our last unlock before 30, we can now use the Dorgishan Crossbow. Now, as I mentioned before, we, we've skipped Iron Crossbow because we couldn't fletch it. But Dorgishan Crossbow, we can just buy straight from the store after doing the Lost Tribe quest. The Lost Tribe quest is actually available to us. And we can do that if we check here. No recommendations, requirements, there's only Golden Diplomacy. Lost Tribe, the Lost Tribe also gives us mining XP, but with 65 mining, we've got plenty of wiggle room there, so that doesn't matter. But Goblin Diplomacy is actually an issue. We can do Goblin Diplomacy uh, nice and easily, but it gives 200 crafting XP. And we are less than 200 away from 33 crafting, and we have not done the level 32 unlock, which is a red topaz necklace. So we need another red topaz. Hence why I was talking to, I switched about red topazes. Why don't I just go now and get another task? Because I don't think I have any of the wise old man like letters in my bank. No. So why don't I go now and get a task? Because I remember seeing something about them patching it. Uh, something about the wise old man task. So maybe I can't get the same task over and over again in a row now. Who knows? But if we get the wise old man task of delivering a letter to Father Lawrence, I'll be a bit concerned. Um, so we could try that and try and get a road topaz that way. Or we're going to have to take our jade machete and go to the dense jungle and try and get a gem rock again, um, like we did last time for the red topaz. The issue there is that currently for wood cutting, we're at 41, meaning we need a rune axe, uh, meaning I need to wield a rune axe by the time... I get to 42 wood cutting, so we don't have much wiggle room there. Getting a rune axe is very difficult as well and not really available to us. And there is one other backup method of getting a red topaz, which could be pretty crazy. And I guess we'll see about that. So yeah, let's just let's just see what happens. Uh, yes, all right, he's given us back a letter because probably last time we talked to him, gave us a uh, letter to give to. Father Lawrence, so I guess let's go over there and give that to him. And we'll see... Okay, there's no way we're getting rewarded a red topaz straight out of the gate here. Um, oh, I should have just tested if I could have got multiple letters from him. Alright, back here again. We've seen this before. We've got a full invent of wise old man tasks here. Let's see if something's been fixed. This red topaz exists. Um, or, I don't know. Let's see if our messages disappear or what's going on. An emerald. Okay, yep, that is what we got basically every time before. Ah. Alright, to Father Lo- Wait. Yeah, look, I can't give him the message. What's going on here? This is wild. No, our strat. Well, look at that. We were one of the first people to ever do it. And I just got an emerald from it. Again. Instead of a topaz. Alright, well, we might be able to get a different task now, though. Is this now going to say... Oh my god, we got a new task. There is no way. I'm out of flour, so I could do with a few pots of that. Please bring me six. Oh my god, we just got a new task. Oh my god, and I have six pots of flour just there. What was that from? <laughs> oh, that's just, that's just destiny. I was about to say, I don't want to get a big head about this, but surely I'm the reason they patched this. Surely. Look. If you find another reason, let me know, but surely. Can't believe I just seren that's serendipity right there. Alright, wise old man. Got the stuff. Damn, runes. Okay. For prayer XP. Okay, thank you. We've had plenty of that in the past. Okay, Potter's Wheel, baby, we need. Unfired 
pie dishes, if I'm correct. We can only do this once. Once only. Because once we make five, yep, we are now 18 XP away. <laughs> oh my god. We still haven't hit the next level, so we haven't skipped our unlock. It's all good. Coins, oh. More runes, nah. There we go. Oh, some seeds. Rosemary, Yanillion seed. That seems shit. That's not really what I want. No, nah, prayer. I think prayer is the most common reward. But I think that's enough. More prayer XP. Damn. Okay. Come on. What else can we get? Cooked anchovies. Please bring me seven. Mmm. Alright. Time to cook. Time to cook. We have a raw tuna. Please cook it first go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> of course we fuck up the tuna. That sucks. Okay, well, can we at least cook the apple pie correctly? We cooked that first go, and that was the one I prepared multiple pastry doughs and apples for. We haven't even been over here before. We unlocked the music track as well. Fishing. Okay, there's one tuna. Give us a couple, come on. Okay, tuna, come on. Yes, there's one. All right, I don't, I don't want to play with the XP. There we go. One tuna cooked. Nice. Another level 30. Unlock completed. Let's make a worm bowl. That sounds bloody appetizing, doesn't it? So we're cooking our half-baked bowl, wormhole. I got enough to make two just in case. And then we bake it again. Beautiful. And garnish with aqua leaves. Lovely wormhole. Perfect. Another level 30 unlock. There's our tuna wormhole and our apple pie with leftovers. So now we have plenty of XP left. 877 cooking XP. These seven anchovies will only be 210 XP. Oh, of course we burned the last one. <laughs> All right, I think I had some extras in the bank. That's fine. All right, champion, here are your anchovies. Don't make me cook any more. Prayer XP. Ah. All right, well, come on. What can we get for you this time? Freshly cooked shrimp for a salad I'm planning. <laughs> oh, this is... Okay, we still have a little bit of wiggle room. It's fine. Old man, this better make a nice shrimp salad, and you better not ask me to cook any more stuff. All right, old man, here's your shrimp. Enjoy your salad. Oh, more prayer XP. Stop blessing me. I have enough blessings. Give me topaz. Runes. Ah, come on. Give me topaz. Here's your iron ore now, you old man. Give us the topaz. No, stop blessing me. I'm going to have... This is just... Pointless exercise at this point. Oh my god. More runes. Thank you, old man. Um, what can I get for you this time? You're on thin ice, I'm telling you. My undergarments are getting a bit worn out. I'm going to need some sheets of silk to patch them. Twelve? How much? How big are your undergarments? Or how many of them have fucking holes in them, champ? Unfired clay pots. Well, that's the end of that one. That's not enough crafting XP to make unfired clay pots. Old man, you fucked me around for the last time, champion. Oh god, we're back. I cannot believe I'm back here hacking dense jungle. Please let this be over quickly. Please. We don't have much time to stay here. If we get too close to 42 woodcutting, we are going to have to skip entirely the uh, red topaz necklace for 32 crafting. That's just, that's just the bottom line, and it's just going to have to happen that way. I'm sorry. You know what? Um, that will have to do it here. That will have to do it. We have, basically, no XP left in woodcutting. And this is not going to happen this way. I haven't got a single gem rock event. We've got so fucking many of everything else. And I even, well, I would have had to run up here to get a spade if we found another gachu, but we didn't find that either. So, no big deal. There's one more option to get a red topaz, unfortunately. Um, and yeah... That's left me no choice, but we're going to go do that now. You'll see what it is. Oh my god. Okay, so a recent post on the 2007 Scape subreddit talks about there are a handful of boxes, crates, and drawers scattered around the game that you search through for a one in a thousand chance to find something nice. That something nice is a uncut red topaz. No, this was not put in the game for my benefit. Uh, this has been around for almost 20 years. And a lot of the mechanics around this were removed. However, some still survive. And one of which... 
Oh my god. Well, this is perfect that I just searched that. So these two crates here are two in particular. There's also lots of drawers, boxes. A lot of them in Falador here. There's two in Varrock. You often get the message, you search the crate but find nothing. There is actually a 10% chance to see the message, you don't find anything interesting. There is also a 1% chance to get this message. You think you find something nice, but it turns out to be nothing. And then there's a 0.1% chance that you actually find something nice, but it's the red topaz, the uncut red topaz. So what we're going to do is just sit here and I'm going to click these boxes until I get an uncut red topaz. And yeah, I guess all I have to do is click it a thousand times and if I'm on drop rate, I should get the red topaz. I cannot believe my RuneScape career has come to this. Look at there, we got it again. You think you find something nice, but it turns out to be nothing. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to believe it until I see it, but it's the first time I've ever seen that message before. So I've sped this clip up to five times speed because obviously this would be so painful for you to watch this. It was painful enough for me to do it. But this is what I did for hours of my life. If you haven't already, please like the video. I bloody deserve it. <laughs> Comment down below if you saw this post on the subreddit or if you knew this already or if your mind is blown away just like mine. This is pretty crazy that they still have stuff like this in the game. Oh my god, no way. We actually... Fuck, I should have just done this before. <laughs> oh my god. We just got it through clicking a fucking crate. It actually exists. The uncut red topaz. Oh my god, it actually exists. We just got it. I don't know how many times I clicked then. It probably wasn't a thousand. If we break this fucking red topaz now... I'm going to be so mad. Please do not. Please. Oh, no! You absolute fuck. I hate you, Red Topaz. Thanks for that, Leo. This is exactly how I'm feeling right now, going for this Red Topaz by clicking a box. Oh my god, okay, that took a while. Shit, okay, we've got another one. Please, for the love of fuck, do not, do not crush. Please, please, please. Ah! <laughs> ah! The sound that it makes. I oh, know I don't have game sounds recording, but fuck! Ah, oh, okay. That gave us six XP, correct? That gave us 6.3 XP. We now have five XP remaining. We literally have one more chance at this before we hit 33. And you know what? At that point, I'm just, I'm skipping it. At that point, I'm skipping it. And we're waiting for a more reliable way to get a red topaz. Okay, we're going to hit it again at 38. But I am I'm fucking waiting. I am waiting until we get a more reliable way to get a red topaz. Where we can do the Shiloh Village quest and reliably get gem rocks. Okay, now I haven't sped this clip up. But I actually changed my mouse to an older mouse. So I could spam click the mouse without worrying. I was going to break it. <laughs> At this point, I'd been doing this for well over an hour, and my hand was getting quite sore. This is... <laughs> Luckily, I've played a lot of Guitar Hero in my day. I mean, I definitely don't recommend this, but go and try it for yourself. <laughs> See if you can get the Red Topaz as well. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Alright, it's here. The last one. The last one I am giving the satisfaction of me trying to chisel it from this crate. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, for the love of everything, let me cut this red topaz and get our crafting unlock done. Please. Please. 
There are no fucking words. No words at all. I fucking hate Red Topazes so much. Oh my god. Oh, I just clicked that box like so many fucking thousand times. 33 crafting though. We can now craft files. Yep, that's all the satisfaction and motivation I need. Red Topaz, you can stay crushed for now. We will come back to you later. Oh my god, man. I just, the Red Topaz grinds on this account have been so fucked. Please, just tell me I have molten glass. Oh, one beautiful molten glass. Glass blowing pipe. Yep, level 33 unlock. Here we go. Vile. Beautiful. 35 crafting XP. We are now 1,941 XP from 34. Plenty of room to do goblin diplomacy. We're going to do goblin diplomacy now. Then we're going to do Lost Tribe, and then we're going to go get our Bone Crossbow and finally train up to 30 ranged and start big chompy bird hunting. <laughs> That's the same army you had on before. That color quite nice. <laughs> no worries. There we go. Goblin Diplomacy completed. Five quest points for that one. Nice. 200 crafting XP and a gold bar. Ah, uh, this was the solution to... Everyone's problem earlier on the series when we first needed crafting and we couldn't get a gold bar and we couldn't uh, make a gold ring and it was like, just do golden diplomacy. It's like, no, nope, XP. And now look at us. Enough XP and then some left over. Easily do golden diplomacy. Good stuff. All right, let's go to Lumbridge then and do the Lost Tribe quest. Dig a narrow tunnel through the rocks. Ooh, let's go through the hole. Oh, it's dark in here. Jeez. Okay, and we've got a little brooch on the ground. Let's pick that up, and let's take it back to the Duke and show him. We found a tunnel in there, found a brooch in there. Sigmund. Must have been dropped by a goblin as it, fre as it fled. Never heard of a goblin wearing something so well crafted. Must have been stolen. Yeah, it was it now. Yep. Alright, let's find out what we can. The librarian in Varrock might know more. Okay, well let's go to Reldo. Okay. Um, Reldo. Hey, champion. Remember us from doing some clue scrolls? Found a brooch in a cave beneath Lumbridge. Alright, he wants a book. We need northern bookcase on the west wall. This one. There we go. Read Goblin Symbol Book. A History of the Goblin Race. Ah, yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Actually, let's have a look. Okay, it's a little rectangle with a wee little... Circle in it. Symbol of the Dorgashan tribe. Alright, time to navigate through this cave. Here we go. Mini-map, I can't even see it. It's so dark. Fuck me. Ah, shit. No, a trap. Ah, oh, fuck, what have I done? Shit. <laughs> no, I went the wrong way. It's so dark. i to turn the... Brightness up. Oh my god. Oh, now we're in the fucking swamp caves. Shit, how do we get out of here? Can we go this way? Squeeze through hole? Oh my god. Tunnel is blocked with rocks. Fuck! What's I gotta climb? Oh my god. I gotta climb out in the swamp. What a stitch up this is. Oh, and I'm gonna get done in by the wall beast. No! Get away from the wall beast. Fucking hell. I'm just teleporting out. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Requ that required a lot more focus than it should have. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, okay, we made it through. Let's goblin bear. Human knows ancient greeting. Yes, we are your mate. Made contact with the cave goblins. You believe them, goblin lover? Yeah, I like some goblins, Sigmund, you wanker. All right, let's pickpocket Sigmund. I've had a, I've had enough of his shit. Let's take his little key. Exposed. He is a ham cult member. All right, so we're searching this crate here. Here we go. Stolen silverware, Lumbridge silverware. 
All right, Duke, we found the missing silverware champion in the ham cave. Sigmund, it is your doing. The goblins must have dropped the silverware as they ran away. No way, champion. You are dismissed. Let the hole in the cellar stay. You know, we can leave it as a route to travel between our lands. Please accept this ring as a token. It is enchanted to save you in an hour of need. I forgot we get a ring of life from this quest. Ah, and there's Sigmund outside the door, the little shit. Oh, that's so good. And there's Lost Tribe completed. A quest point, 3,000 mining XP, no big deal for us. And a Ring of Life. That's actually so good. That is going on and staying on. All right, let's 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 just, you know, we're rich. We could buy everything. But there it is, Dorgish and Crossbow. Purchased, Bone Bolt Pack. Cheap as chips. Yes, yeah, some chips. Oh, yes. Okay, we'll just go with a thousand Bone Bolts. We can always come back and buy more. And technically, very technically, Bone Club... Bone Dagger and our Bone Spear. These are all level 1 unlocks for attack. So really, you know, there's so many weapons at level 1 attack that you can wield. Um, a lot of them are from quests and it's I basically just use those as an exception for the, for the series. But where we can, I will indeed use each of these weapons. But look at that, now we've got ourselves a little Bone Club, Bone Dagger and Bone Spear. How bloody good, but most importantly... Our Dorgishan Crossbow. That is so sick. Mashta, we need a Slayer task. We are level 20 combat, and we need one from you for our skill-guided account. Please give me something good to train my range to 30 on. Wolves. Interesting. Hey, there was an easy task in the Mauritania area. How bloody good are we? All right, we're here. We're here near where we're going to start... Uh, Big chompy bird hunting. But we need a few more ingredients for the quest. Uh, in, uh, not those bones, but there's a lot of stuff like dropped along the ground around here. Here we go, first wolf of our slayer task, if we can finally get the final damage on. There we go, 69 XP, love that. And only, you know, 49 bone bolts. That took a while. That's alright, we have wolf bones now, we need four of these for the quest. Happy days. And that is 17 Slayer. We can now kill Cave Slimes. Beautiful. And next to unlock after that is Rock Slugs. And killing the other two wolves that we need for their bones before the quest will not get us there. So I am just going to stay here so we can finish off the quest. And um, we'll go kill a Cave Slime after when we go back to Lumbridge. Okay, and there it is. 30 ranged. Yes. You can now wield maple bows. Members can use adamant throwing weapons. The ogre composite bow and snakeskin armor. Oh, yes. Snakeskin armor. Unfortunately, a little bit out of our reach. Hey, then there's 600 total level as well. How good is that? I'm just not fucking around. I'm talking straight to rants here. You want to hunt the chompy champ? So do I. Shows you a huge but crude bow and then starts to nod energetically in an effort to help you understand. Alright, we'll make arrows for you, mate. Yep. Let's start big chompy bird hunting. Fuck yeah! Alright, we need Stixies from the Aiki tree. That is the Aiki tree logs that we got. How bloody good is that? Right, so let's use a knife on the logs to make ogre arrow shafts. Some fletching XP, but this is our actual unlock now. Ogre arrows. This is great. Use feathers on the shafts. Beautiful. We have four wolf bones, so let's use a chisel on the wolf bones. Yes. Wolf bone arrow tips. Oh, shit, that's crafting XP as well. Not that it really matters. But there's six fletching. This is all part of our... Um... Yeah, we've got our crafting unlock now, but that's fine. But this is all part of our current fletching unlock. Wolf bone arrow tips. Use those on the flighted ogre arrows. This is unavoidable because this is part of the quest and this is our current unlock. Excellent. Ogre arrows. Yes. Use those on Rance. Hey, champ. Good range from him. Huge range. That's massive. These arrows are rubbish. I made those myself. Because your stab is a worse at flying than a dead dog. That's fucked. <laughs> 
All right, let me have a go. Oh no, wait. Use the onion tomato and the cabbage with the chompy bird to make a seasoned chompy. Perfect. Now we have seasoned chompy. Love it. All right. And Rance, hello champ. Um, we do have the cooked chompy. Family of Ogre, sits down and enjoy your well-cooked chompy bird. Love that. And there it is. Yes! Big chompy bird hunting completed. Two quest points. 1470 cooking. 735 range. 260 fletching. An ogre bow. And now we can make ogre arrows. Perfect. Eight fletching. We don't skip an unlock. We're still at our level seven unlock. Thankfully, there's no uh, unlock at level eight. So we're all good. 31 cooking. Now we can cook fish cakes. Excellent. And now we can yeah, cook chompies properly. Now that we have completed big chompy bird hunting. Now it is time to start. And thankfully we won't have to finish it because the boss might be a bit tricky. The Zoga Flesh Eaters quest. And that actually started just up here. So let's go. Let, why, why dilly dally? Let's head there right now and do it. Zoga Flesh Eaters. Here we go. We've got our bone crossbow. We've got a ring of life just in case things get hairy. We've got our teleport to Kander and Monastery if things get hairy. We've got the most random assortment of food of all time. But we should be okay. We just need to get up to the point in the quest where we make brutal arrows. And also be able to make Relism's Balm. So we have our Fletching Unlock and our Herb Lower Unlock by partial completion of this quest. We are talking to Grish here. Recommended combat of level 45. Well, that's not what's going on, but um, yeah, we're not going to finish it all. And we get food and potions. Giddy up. Super restores. Absolutely beautiful. Cook chompies. They heal 10 HP, so that's even better. And if we're already diseased at that point, that's all right. We have super restore potions because um, we can replenish our stats. That'll get our melee prayer back up. And yeah, we can just teleport away if shit's getting hairy. We can't die from disease. Like, you can't die. It's literally just lowers stats. It lowers stats, excluding hit points and prayer. So, yeah, we can't die from it, so that's good. Um, we just need to, yeah, not die from the melee attacks of these things. And then we're going to go in and do a bunch of stuff. And if things, if I'm getting panicky, I'm just going to teleport out. All right, we need to stay away. No, I want to go in. Okay. Good just breaking the barrier from old champ. Like, why don't you just lift it or something so you don't have to rebuild it? But all right, let's, let's go. No, now we're diseased. Okay, that's all right. Here's some stairs. Let's get down here. Hopefully there's a safe spot somewhere. Okay. Okay, there's lots of Zogas and stuff everywhere, but we're all good. Let's just stand here a second. Northwest of the area with blackened floor. Oh, shit. Okay. Zombie? Yeah, right. Okay. Well, luckily we have our bone crossbow. All right. We've killed it. We've got... A ruined backpack. Okay, open the ruined backpack. We have a dragon in tankard and some rotten food. All right, so we just lost 10 range levels from that. That's from our disease. That's a bit grim, but that's okay. Uh, search broken lectern. We now have a torn page with a little writing all over it. Attempt to search the coffin. Okay, coffin to the west. That's this one. Yep, we lifted it off. Cool. Now we have a black prism. Beautiful. I think that's it. I think we're done down here. All right. Barkeep, tell us about this dragon tankard. Oh, shit. We just lost 8 HP from the disease. What the? It said that it couldn't hurt us that way. All right. Well, now I'm nervous. Let's get, have to keep an eye on our HP. Is it because all our stats are lowered? Oh, shit. I guess we need Super Restore then. Wizard by the name of Sithic Ints is doing some research on it. Excellent. Mind if I look around inside your house, mate? <laughs> what an odd thing to say. Why would we do that? All right, well, he's sick, so he can't stop us anyway. So, yeah, good luck stopping us, mate. We're going to search everywhere. Okay, now we're just drawing a picture of him. Yep. Right, Barkeep, have you seen this man that I've drawn for you? 
All right, have some items that you should look at, mate. He's got a necromancy book. He's been doing bad shit. He's got a ham book as well. And we've got the dragon in tankard. Plus, we have a signed portrait. All the evidence. Oh, yes, a strange potion. Now we're going to drug Sithic. And he's going to tell us the truth. And this is going to be the information we need for our unlocks. Usually manifest some sort of disease, so it's best to attack them from a distance with a ranged weapon. Normal missiles like arrows and darts do very little. It's a waste of time with undead creatures. So what should we use, mate? From my research, it looks like a flat-ended arrow was designed called a brutal arrow. That's what we need to flat for our unlock. Instead of adding an arrow tip, you hammer a large nail into the end of the shaft. Perfect. And how do I get rid of the disease? Two jungle-based herbs can be used. One is found near river tributaries and looks like a vine. The other is found in caves and grows on the wall. Excellent. Okay, we now have a hammer with our inventory. Use nails on the flighted ogre arrows. Yes! Five bronze brutals. Oh my god. That is our level seven fletching unlock. We can now actually train fletching all right yep we're going into the cave joga cave hello buddies you remember me from ages ago running through here this is what we search on the wall let's put our prayer on how about that there we go let's let's grab like maybe um maybe more than just one here we go. Found a grimy snake weed. We'll search and try and find another one. And we've got heaps of herbs in the bank from our wise old man Tars. And we'll just have to track down some herb lore secondaries in order to do each of our unlocks as they come along. But we should be fine with that. This is just... Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I'm so keen to train herb lore. We hit 600 total level this episode. It's going to be good to keep that climbing. Long time coming. We've still got some single-digit stats as well. I'm looking forward to changing those in the future. Oh my god, mate. How long does it take to find one of these things? How anticlimactic. While we're searching for this thing, if you haven't done it already, there we go, find it. Give the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you've made it this far into the video, you are a fucking legend. I really appreciate it. Use Snakeweed on the Unfinished Potion. Relisum's Balm. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. That is our level 8 Herb Law unlock. We are now free to get to level 11 because then we can clean Taramin and make strength potions then at level 12. Oh, yes.